Welcome to another two minute lesson. Today's lesson is anti fouling protective coatings. While a ship's hull spends most of its time underwater and out of sight, it must remain very much in mind in terms of its protective coating. That's because ships are at risk of fouling due to the attachment of submerged sea organisms like grass or barnacles. Fouling can cause a few different problems that can snowball if not quickly addressed, including adding significant drag or slowing. Added drag means ship expends more fuel. Fouling on a hull causes corrosion. Conventional formulations are also known as soluble matrix or ablative coatings. Resin dissolves in seawater and acts as a binder. Biocides mixed with resin leach into the seawater as resin degrades, preventing the growth of fouling organisms. Long life antifoulings are formulated in soluble matrices. Biocide leaches out of the paint film, leaving a porous skeleton like layer behind. The biocide decreases as the porous layer builds. These systems last up to two years. The porous layer must be removed prior to recoating for best results. Self polishing coatings are essentially high performance ablative systems that degrade in seawater. However, these hydrosoluble formulations include additional binders that promote a more stable degradation. That creates a smoother hull surface which can last up to five years. Fouling release formulations are seen as an alternative to coatings containing biocides. These coatings create smooth, non-stick surfaces to which fouling organisms cannot adhere. Note, these formulations can be easily damaged and are hard to repair. The risk of fouling is inherent due to design elements of ship hulls, including welding seams, valve openings, bulging plates, or other surfaces characteristic that fosters growth of fouling organisms. This has been another two minute lesson. Thank you for watching. Please check back every Sunday for a new lesson.